This is the Biochem Surya Pocket Lecture on Coenzymes Part 2. In this video, we will discuss the activation transfer coenzymes, those that not only transfer groups but activate molecules as well. These are the following thymine pyrophosphate, pyridoxal phosphate, coenzyme I, and biocytin. For each of the coenzymes, we will be looking into the chemistry, synthesis, and source, the specific active site of the coenzyme and their functions. We will also show sample reactions that they help catalyze. By the way, welcome to the Biochem Surya channel which aims to make the study of biochemistry simpler, straight to the point and higher yield. This channel likewise uploads tips on studying and conducts live review sessions. If you wish to see the first part of the discussion on coenzyme chemistry and the redox coenzymes, kindly click on the card above. As an introduction, the above-mentioned activation transfer coenzymes usually participate directly in catalysis by forming a covalent bond with a portion of the substrate. In turn, the tightly held substrate moiety is then activated for the following. For transfer, addition of water or some other reaction. The portion of the coenzyme that forms a covalent bond with the substrate is its functional group. A separate portion of the coenzyme binds tightly to the enzyme. Thiamine pyrophosphate provides a good illustration of the manner in which coenzymes participate in catalysis. Sometimes called as thiamine diphosphate or cocarboxylase, thiamine pyrophosphate, abbreviated as TPP, is a thiamine or vitamin B1 derivative that is a coenzyme present in all living systems and catalyzes several biochemical reactions. Chemically, it is a substituted pyrimidine linked to a thiazol or thiazolium ring with a terminal pyrophosphate. This pyrophosphate provides negatively charged oxygen atoms that chelate magnesium ions, which then binds tightly to the enzyme. The active site of thiamine pyrophosphate is found at C2 of the thiazol ring. The hydrogen atom at C2 is acidic, ionizes readily, releasing a proton and forms a carbanion center. The carbanion is a strong nucleophile and attacks the partially positively charged keto group on the substrate. In all of the enzymes that use thiamine pyrophosphate, this reactive thiamine carbon forms a covalent bond with the substrate keto group while cleaving the adjacent carbon, carbon bond. However, each thiamine containing enzyme catalyzes the cleavage of a different substrate or group of substrates with very closely related structures. Thiamine pyrophosphate is inactivated by thiaminase, an enzyme that metabolizes or breaks down thiamine into two molecular parts. Thiaminase is found in raw fish and some plants and bacteria. The general function of thiamine pyrophosphate is the cleavage of a carbon-carbon bond next to a keto group. In the alpha-ketoglutarate, pyruvate, and branched-chain alpha-keto acid dehydrogenase complexes, the functional carbon on the thiazol ring forms a covalent bond with the alpha-keto carbon, thereby cleaving the bond between the alpha-keto carbon and the adjacent carboxylic acid group. Thiamine pyrophosphate is also a coenzyme for transkettylase in the pentose phosphate pathway where it similarly cleaves the carbon, carbon bond next to a keto group. The second activation transfer coenzyme in our list is pyridoxal phosphate, which is abbreviated as PLP. Shown here is the structure of pyridoxal phosphate. It acts as a coenzyme in all transamination reactions and in certain decarboxylation, the amination, and racemization reactions of amino acids. The active site is the aldehyde group at C4 of the pyridine ring. It reacts with the alpha amino group of amino acid substrates to yield the shift's base. The shift's base intermediate formed by molecular rearrangement determines the type of reaction produced. In the first step of virtually all PLP-dependent reactions, the aldehyde group of the coenzyme forms an imine, a shift's base linkage with a lysine side chain on the enzyme. Generally, the next step, seen here as step 2, is an amine exchange as the amine nitrogen on the amino acid substrate replaces the enzyme lysine nitrogen in the amine linkage. This substrate coenzyme adduct is stabilized by a favorable hydrogen bond between the phenol of PLP and the amine nitrogen. Let us now look at a specific example of a PLP-dependent reaction, a very common one, a transamination reaction. The reaction in which the nitrogen group from an amino acid is transferred to alpha ketoglutarate is accomplished by PLP-dependent enzymes called transaminases. Once again, the first step is abstraction of the alpha proton from the PLP amino acid adduct. However, in the transaminase reactions, this initial deprotonation step is immediately followed by a reprotonation at what was originally the aldehyde carbon of PLP, seen here in step 2, which results in a new carbon-nitrogen double bond, an amine between the alpha carbon and the nitrogen of the original amino acid. In step 3, we can see that this amine is then hydrolyzed. This is the step where the nitrogen is removed from the amino acid to form an alpha-keto acid, 
which can be degraded further. The coenzyme, which now carries an amine group and is therefore called pyridoxamine phosphate, abbreviated as PMP, next transfers the amine group to alpha ketoglutarate to form glutamate through an exact reversal of the whole process we have just seen. The versatility of PLP in terms of its ability to assist with a wide variety of reaction types is illustrated here. This shows how, depending upon the reaction or enzyme in question, pyridoxal phosphate can assist in the cleavage of any one of the four bonds to the alpha carbon of the amino acid substrate. This is the reason why pyridoxal phosphate is the coenzyme in all transamination reactions, and likewise, in certain decarboxylation, the amination and racemization reactions of amino acids. The source of pyridoxal phosphate is from vitamin B6, also known as pyridoxin. This reaction shows the activation of vitamin B6 to pyridoxal phosphate. The two steps are first, an oxidation reaction, and secondly, a phosphorylation reaction. The next of the activation transfer coenzymes is coenzyme A. Coenzyme A, abbreviated as CoHA or CoASH, is a coenzyme known for its role in the synthesis and oxidation of fatty acids and the oxidation of pyruvate in the citric acid cycle. In its acetyl form, coenzyme A is a highly versatile molecule serving metabolic functions in both the anabolic and catabolic pathways. Coenzyme A is a highly complex structure. As we can see here, it is composed of five components enumerated from right to left. First, a 3' phosphodenosine. Second, diphosphate or organophosphate anhydride. Third, pantoic acid. Fourth, beta-alanine. And lastly, fifth, cysteamine. Some sources would refer to coenzyme as a nucleotide composed of adenosine 3' monophosphate, pyrophosphate, pantothenic acid, which is composed of pantoic acid plus beta-alanine and thioethanolamine. The active site of coenzyme is a sulfhydryl group at the other end of the molecule. It is a nucleophile that always attacks carbonyl groups and forms acyl thioesters. That is, it is the nucleophilic character of sulfur found in the SH group of the thioethanol amine that brings about the ease of formation of thioacyl derivatives. As an aside, the ion coenzyme A stands for the acyl group that becomes attached. Coenzyme A is naturally synthesized from pantothenate or vitamin B5, which is found in foods such as meat, vegetables, cereal grains, legumes, eggs, and milk. In humans and most living organisms, pantothenate is an essential vitamin that has a variety of functions. Coenzyme A is synthesized in a five-step process that requires four molecules of ETP, pantothenate, and cysteine. Two of the major functions of coenzyme A is summarized in this illustration. Coenzyme A is involved in regulation of lipid metabolism. Since coenzyme A is, in chemical terms, a thiol, it can react with carboxylic acids to form thioesters, thus functioning as an acyl group carrier. A molecule of coenzyme A carrying an acyl group is also referred to as a sulcohe. Coenzyme A is involved in energy production. Coenzyme A is a very important component of the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and some of the reactions in the citric acid cycle. Its acetyl coenzyme A form is the primary input in the citric acid cycle and is obtained from glycolysis, amino acid metabolism, and fatty acid beta oxidation. This process is the body's primary catabolic pathway and is essential in breaking down the building blocks of the cell such as carbohydrates, amino acids, and lipids. The last member of the activation transfer coenzymes is biocytin. Biocytin is a chemical compound that is an amide formed from the vitamin biotin and the amino acid lysine. We can see here that biocytin activates and transfers CO2 to compounds in carboxylation reactions. The sulfur atom of tetrahydrophene polarizes the urea carbonyl group facilitating transfer of carboxyl group to nitrogen, making it the active site. This functional group covalently binds a CO2 group in an energy-requiring reaction. This bound CO2 group is activated for addition to another molecule. In humans, biocytin functions only in carboxylation reactions. Biocytin is a coenzyme for at least five carboxylase enzymes, which are involved in the digestion of carbohydrates, synthesis of fatty acids, and gluconeogenesis. The coenzymatic function of biocytin appears to be to mediate the carboxylation of substrates by accepting the ATP carboxyl group and transferring it to the carboxyl acceptor substrate. Notable of these are the reactions catalyzed by the following enzymes. Acetyl-CoA carboxylase, pyruvate carboxylase, methylmalonyl-CoA carboxylase, and propionyl-CoA carboxylase. For acetyl-CoA carboxylase, biocytin serves as a cofactor responsible for transfer of bicarbonate to acetyl-CoA converting it to malonyl-CoA for fatty acid synthesis. 
This is the first rate-limiting step in the fatty acid biosynthesis pathway through formation of malonyl CoE from acetal CoE. This ends this video on the discussion of the four activation transfer coenzymes. Thank you for watching the second part of the video series on the chemistry of coenzymes. Please click on the card above to watch the video on the last group of coenzymes, the transfer coenzymes, those that carry groups other than hydrogen ions and electrons.